Hey guys, how are we doing? I'm still out in the field from the previous video where I did the follow me mode. So if you want to check that video out, please go back and have a look at that video where I went through the whole follow me mode features within the 3DR Solo. I had a spare battery because I have got my second battery now and I just wanted to mess around with the cable cam feature a little bit more. So I thought, why not just put it on video as well? So again, I've got the second battery fitted and I'm gonna firstly just hit record on the GoPro and then hold fly to take off and let's mess with this cable cam a little bit more. Not mess with, figure it out, play with it a bit more, see what we can do with it. Take off. Make sure she's still steady with the previous battery. See me there, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna take the quad over here a little bit and we're gonna set up a quick little cable cam. Actually, we're gonna see if it goes turns in the cable cam. So what I'll do is, sorry, I'm just getting a bit silly with the quad here. We'll start the quad off here and we're gonna set up a cable cam. So we'll go A, so movie symbol, cable cam, and we're going to put that as position A where it is now. And then we're going to fly it down here. And we're actually going to add a point as well in this video. When I first tested this, I just did a start and end point. But what we'll do is we're going to start, we're going to set this right here. We'll bring the altitude slightly lower as well. We'll set that as another point on the cable cam by pressing A again. That's another point set. And then what we'll do is we'll set maybe one more point a little bit further up this path. What my plan is to just walk down this path and all I need to do is hopefully um, sorry, all I just put in the quad out, all I'll have to do hopefully is basically just control the camera and keep me in view as I walk down it and we'll face it back towards the path and what we'll do is we're going to keep this as my end point so that's B so now I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen guys but we're actually at the end point of the cable cam and there's a dot that shows me the other point that I put in in the middle so if I put the camera facing down on me and that will be my duty is to keep the, me in focus and if we go back down the cable cam so there we go we're walking down the cable cam now all I'm doing is controlling the yaw sorry not the yaw the pit on the camera and the yaw as well just to keep me in focus quad's going a bit faster than I am so I might need to change the speed on my next play There you go, it's just coming up to the next point now, which has gone facing back to where I had it facing for that point. Let's see if we can change the yaw on it to face me a little bit more. I'm not sure where I've gone. There I am, walking a bit further away. It's a bit faster than I wanted. And it's at the start point now. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go over to the quad. While I'm going over to it, I'm going to change the options. So I'm going to slow it down at the moment. So free look, time lapse, or cable cam is in 43 seconds. Let's take that up a little bit. So to a minute. Let's hopefully let's take it up to the max speed, max uh, duration. Sorry, and hit done on that. And this time I'm going to try and keep my eyes not on the quad, not be frightened, and basically see if I can keep myself in view by just using the FPV and going so it just wants to go back to the position where I set it as the starting point so anyway we'll move it while we're going so we'll click go well the forward button to start it and it started on the cable cam and a lot slower this time there you go guys, you can see me. Sunshade isn't doing a lot for me right now. So it's keeping me in focus right now, so I've got to try make sure that I don't watch the quad and trust that the quad's doing what it's doing. 
keep my eye on my FPV so I can keep me in focus on the camera. I think I'm still in focus there, guys. Still in the middle of the shot, hopefully. Screen's a bit smudgy for some reason. But yeah, it's keeping me in the shot right now. I did look up at the quad there, so... And it's taken me out because I looked up at the quad. There you go, guys. Need to make sure I keep myself in focus. Let's walk a bit quicker now. Keeping me in focus. So I'm going to tilt down on the camera a little bit because I felt the altitude a bit higher for the last end point. There you go, and it's reached the end point. There you go, guys, another just quick video. Just wanted to mess around with that cable cam, see what I could do with it. I can see once I get used to it, I could probably get some nice cinematic shots. Just come out of that shot there. But I guess you could do a lot with it. I'll be honest with you, day by day, I'm actually starting to love this 3DR Solo a lot more and more. So that's me done now, guys. And as it's going over my head, I will say goodbye and hope to catch you in the next video, guys. There you go, that's my phone ringing. So I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.